Imagine a life-changing injury. Imagine the fear and unknown. The Houston Clinic Sports Medicine Team, the only physicians in the area with advanced certification in orthopedic sports medicine, treat sports injuries with innovative techniques. The Houston Clinic has helped nearly a million athletes live without pain. Imagine getting back in the game. Imagine the best game of your life. The Houston Clinic Sports Medicine Team. Welcome to the Shamrock Bowl, ladies and gentlemen, for the 2021 kickoff between the Dublin Irish and, and the Dodge County Indians. Uh, Crather, we're uh, welcoming everybody into a newly refurbished, awesome looking Shamrock Bowl. Yes, a new day. This stadium was built the year I was born, I believe, which is more years ago than I care to count. I've been in it many times, but never with it looking like it does tonight, the field turf they put in is beautiful. They've also spruced up, they bricked in around the, uh, I guess you call it the base of the stands. And this place is looking really nice tonight. For a Renovated a, hill yeah. where they used to run down the hill yeah. and it was muddy and everything. Mm -hmm. They've uh, bricked that up yeah. with a cat, catwalk. Yeah. Here come the Irish. And of course, no better way to kick it off in a traditional rivalry like Dublin and Dodge County. These two teams have been playing each other for many years. I remember going back into the 70s, both going to right, and playing in this game. Football. It was always a huge right, game. Anytime you've got one county touching another one, it seems like it's always been just a bitter rival. That's right. Uh, Dodge County already coming in with a uh, Scrimmage game. Uh, Here come the Irish. Good game tonight between both squads. This will be a, definitely be a big challenge. Dodge, of course, is still double A. So this is a non-region game for each team. But uh, you'll really get a feel, I think, at the end of the night if you're doubling for where you are playing a team the caliber of Dodge County, playing up in classification. Right. It look, looks like we've got They've got about the same number of players, maybe maybe a few more over there than we do. Coached by a new coach this year, though, Crather, Ray Harden. I didn't realize that. Uh, no. Former defensive county coach over at Bleckley County, I know. So, <clears throat> Coach Holmes yeah. went out and got some of his old films when we played them in the past, and he was the defensive coordinator. So, he kind of feels like he knows what he's going to run, but you're, you never know. You never know. That's right. John Potter, number 83, yeah. senior. Yeah. Kicking off for the Irish here. We do know nobody outworks or out prepares Roger Holmes, so he'll be as prepared as he can possibly be to deal with the challenge Dodge presents tonight. Back deep for Dodge, looks like it's going to be number two, Lamari Mitchell. And the son sitting my other number over there, number four, uh, Keegan Williams, a wide receiver. <coughs> Of course, Both. playing on this field turf, this will be a fast track tonight for guys that can run. So. We'll take a break and have a word from our sponsor. <laughs> I'm Brad Grimes, and we invite you to join the winning team at the City of Dublin Natural Gas. And we'll give you a free 40 gallon hot water heater or a $400 rebate on a tankless hot water heater. Get a $200 rebate on a natural gas furnace. How about 0% financing for 60 months? Plus, we'll make it easier and add it to your bill. Take advantage of this incredible offer today. With natural gas, you'll never run out of gas again. Natural gas is dependable. Natural gas is half the price of electricity half of the price of propane. So stop wasting money today. And call the fit up Dublin Natural Gas today. At 277-5048, that's 277-5048. Join the winning team at City of Dublin Natural Gas. Fighters look real good in practice, uh, summer and fall practice. I've watched them. 
expect to have a really good year. Special teams can win a lot of games for you. We've it's always a big part of the game, especially it seems like early in the year when you're trying to work the kinks out, say, on offense. Either big plays or big mistakes in the kicking game decide a lot of games early in the year. Referee's getting ready to pull the trigger. We're about to be underway. Potter about to hit it. He's trying to pin it up against the sideline. Unfortunately, it goes out of bounds. So. It looked like he was trying to pooch it up yeah. to about the 20 and, and, and got the, maybe got yeah. the, too much of the side of the ball there. Yeah, I think he did. He kind of kind of like a wedge shot that gets away from you. We know we both know about wedge <laughs> yeah, shots yeah. get away from you. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I've done it many a time. All right, so the Irish will be on defense first. And Dodge will have the advantage of starting at their 35 thanks to the kickoff going out of bounds. So good Defen field position for the Indians. Defensive starter for a night are going to be senior Dennis Wilcher, Ramonte Darty at uh, defensive ends. Gilbert, Caleb Hall at the tackle. Sam linebacker, Damari Foster. Mike, the linebacker, Jaquan Willis. Jaquarius Evans at the wheel. Weak corner, Jaquan Waters. Dodge up. Twins left, single man right, one man in the backfield, handoff. Not much there, stacked up well by the left side of Dublin's defensive front. He'll get about two yards. Of course, Nelson, we got a lot of new faces for Dublin. Of course, two years ago, we had that veteran team that won the state championship in double A. And we came down last year, had a lot of seniors on that team as well. Came down in classification to single A. And we're, we're replacing yeah. 10 out of 11 starters there. Yeah. Caleb Hall and Dennis Wilcher on that track. Quarterback runs his right, throws, hit. He had his man open around the 40, but a big hit. I couldn't tell who that was. That's going to be Mark Quay Ashley. Oh, that's there. Quay put Ashley him, with a big put, hit. Put him into the new yeah. turf. Yeah, jarred that ball loose, so Dodge will be third and long. Quay had his eyes on the quarterback and read that all the way. He did. Third, let's call it a long eight. Dublin runs a man on late. Kelwan Gilmore, number yeah. 78. You'll see a lot of action out. He's a sophomore. Dodge back to throw. Uh, big rush. He escapes the rush. He's running down the sideline. May have his first down. He's right it's at the stick. He's going to be right at yeah. it. And this is a freshman quarterback. I believe he'll have his first down. That's number 15, Duke Johnson. Good sized kid, six foot two. 6'2, 170 yeah. freshman. Yeah. I believe he may run a little more than 170. Yeah, yeah. He'll he'll be in trouble. The older and more mature he gets physically and in terms of play, playing time experience. Now one man to his right, handoff, off to the left side. Strung out well by the Dublin defense. Nice play. Quay Ashley. Quay Ashley. Got him out. Yep. Rode him out of bounds over yep. here. That's going to be Lamari yep. Mitchell for Dodge. We, we had a there. couple other defenders there. We strung that play out to the sideline. Quay Ashley ran very well to hawk him down on the sideline. Gain of, what, maybe one? Let's call it second and a long nine for Dodge. Right, you're going to see Ashley make a lot of tackles tonight yeah. out of that free safety position. He's a heck of he's a, a player. He's a headhunter. One man in the backfield, he hands it to his wing back on a little jet sweep. They get a nice gain in Dublin territory. It looks like they have a first down. Good Somewhere near Dublin's 43-yard line. They had a good double-team block on our yeah. end over here, and uh, Waters couldn't get out there and get to him. Yeah, that play was very well blocked by the left side of Dodgers' offensive line. First and 10, Dodge from Dublin's 43. Inside handoff. Oh, he breaks a, a couple tackle. of a tackle, then goes down and slipped on the turf inside the 40. Dublin had a chance there, Nelson, to hit him right at the line. Yeah, Foster and uh, Juan Willis had him right, right there. But he got down to the 37. Second four. Yeah, call it second and a long four. So Dodge moving the football, Nelson, pretty steadily here. Thank goodness they slipped on our new yeah, turf there. Yeah. 
Yeah, he had a little bit of running room ahead time. of him. Quarterback, half back to his left, going to hand it off with a blocker. And he ran through a tackle down in near the 30. He's going to be somewhere around the 32 yard line. So probably will have his first down. Clay Ashley coming up, coming off the bottom of the pile there again. Those two Dublin tackles. Nelson, at first, it looked like Dublin had that stacked up at the line, but he was able to slip through and gain enough yardage to get his first down. Dodge is getting some effective blocking right on yeah. the corner right yep. now. Now with the halfback just off to his right. Hand off right up the middle, big hit. I believe that was- Jaquan uh, Willis, number five. Yeah. Jaquan Willis, with a big hit right at the 30. Yeah. Give him two, senior second Dennis, and eight. Senior number 65, Dennis Wilcher finished him off. Big hit right there by Willis. We'll take a break and have a word from our sponsor. <laughs> They work all week for Friday night. Go Dublin! Get ready! And hey! Go. And when you call, click, or visit Dublin Chevy Nissan, you'll see our teamwork in action. Let me put your dream in your driveway. Let's take a test drive. The right vehicle, the right experience, the right dealer. Good job! Here we and go! And remember, Don sells cars well only at Dublin Chevy Nissan. You'll score a winning deal every time at Dublin Chevy Nissan. Senior number five, Jaquan Willis, expect big things out of him this year. You'll hear his name a lot tonight. We got a man in motion coming in front of the quarterback. Jet sweep around the end with running room. Oh, but did he, uh, he got him out of bounds. Okay, he broke the tackle at about the 15. But again, Dodge running it effectively, Nelson on the corners. They, they found something. Getting good blocking Yeah, those out there. jet sweeps are get, they're getting outside on them, getting good yardage. That'll be a first and 10 for Dodge. The ball just barely outside the Dublin 15 yard line. 8.25 to go in the first quarter it would on the initial drive of the game. Dodge running well, a left runs guard off at late. 220, a, a left tackle at 270. Yeah. So Jeremiah gonna, Green in for Willis. Yeah, they're, they're going to be outweighing us there. Yeah, on, they've on got the front. The, Yeah, you can see the size differential with their offensive line. A little bit of a low snap, quarterback keeper off to his left, runs through one tackle, he'll get about maybe three. Pretty well played by the right side of Dublin's defensive front. Again, we had a lineman miss him. Yeah, we yeah, had a chance to make that tackle right at the line of scrimmage. Like Wilcher, Dennis Wilcher in there on the tackle there again. He'll put the ball at the Dublin 11, so Nelson, he got about four. Let's call it second and a long six for Dodge. Dodge in a little four minute drive here. They have moved it very nicely down the field. Dublin defense struggling to- On the corners, yeah. Yeah, keep up. Quarterback rolling his right, throws, a little flat pass. Got a man, might have a face mask. Let's watch this call down inside the 10. Jaquarius Evans, number seven, yeah. on the on the coverage over there and wrapped him up. I couldn't yeah, tell. I'm afraid we might have grabbed a face mask. Let's check it's this. It's all the way across the field yeah. from us. They're already looking at toward the... Dublin's got number 56, Nazir Johnson, a sophomore defensive lineman running in. And with the penalty now, that'll put the ball down at the Dublin three yard line. So Dodge will be first and goal from there with a kind of a stack offensive look. Now strong wing to the left and Dodge calls a timeout. They didn't like their alignment. I so we we 7.39 to go in the first quarter. No score from the Shamrock Bowl. Drop by today and see the winning team at Lakes Alignment and Truck Service in East Dublin. We're now offering tires and service for all your agricultural and farm equipment. At Lakes, we've got you covered on the road or in the field. 
big truck alignment, industrial tire pressing, and commercial truck service. So join the winning team at Lakes Alignment and Truck Service and now offering agricultural tire service. No matter where you are, call 272-4230 and our service trucks are rolling to you. Lakes Alignment and Truck Service, serving you at the same location right behind Thomas Auto Supply since 1954. So grab the family and head on out to the field. This football season, you're sure to be on a winning team when you join the team at Lakes Alignment and Truck Service and now Agricultural Tires and Service, Lakes Alignment, East Dublin. All right, we're back from the Shamrock Bowl. Dodge threatening first and goal from the Dublin three-yard line on the initial drive of the game. The Indians have steadily marched down the field on this drive. They changed. They were they were had a heavy yeah. package left. Yeah. And now they've changed. Now they're now moving they're heavy right. Quarterback with an inside handoff, big hit right there, right at the line. That's number. Is that number 60? Right there, I believe. Yeah, um, Desmond Gilbert. Yeah, I Gilbert. Yeah, I nice play. I expect really big things yeah. out of no out gain. Of Let's call it second year. and goal from the Dublin three. He stoned him right at the line of scrimmage, Nelson. That was by far the best play Dublin's had on defense in this drive. Again, power backfield to the right, inside handoff, big hit. Stopped him yeah, short. Yeah, he'll be short. He got down near the one, maybe the two. Yeah, like Willis, I believe, was there. Third, third and goal. Third yeah, several one, other Dublin down. defenders. Well played by the interior of the Dublin defense. He did get down Don't to the one. Don't those so fans. they'll put it, the nose of the football just touching the Dublin one yard line. Third and goal for Dodge from there with 6.38 to go in the first quarter. Dublin trying to stiffen here. See if they they're going to shift there. power to the right, I mean to their left. Quarterback, Quarterback keeper, keep he's, he, he got cut, in. and I believe he got in. I believe that little cut he made, Nelson okay. got him in. Yeah, got Looks like we were going to have him short of the goal line, and he just went off to his right. Duke Touchdown Johnson. Dodge County on the Duke Johnson keeper. Well, we kind of got an idea maybe of what they're going to try to do. We'll, they want to spread us out and run it. They've been getting on the corners. Now swinging gate for their. Coach Holmes, Coach Collins, I'm sure going to make some pretty quick adjustments. Yeah. Dodge with that swinging gate. Now about to attempt the extra point to make it a little bit of a high snap. Blocked. Good job by the Dublin defense. I see Darty, I believe, in there. Ramonte Darty. Yeah. Yeah. Ramonte yeah, that was a little bit of a high snap, and Dublin really got off the ball on that PAT. And that may become big later yeah. in the game, yeah. right there. So, your new score from Shamrock Bowl Dodge County six, Dublin nothing. Take a break, and we'll have a word from our sponsors. All right, boys, if you want to go to college, you have to clear out another one of these. What if we told you there was a better way to save for your kid's college than pickle jars? Morris Bank's Savings Builder account and Moolah makes saving for your kid's college easier than ever. All you have to do is connect the account to your debit card, where it automatically rounds up your purchases to the nearest dollar. Depositing that spare change into a Moolah account where it will grow into a nice little nest egg for whatever your kids have their sights set on. All right, we're back for the kickoff. Dodge County having gone in and scored, but Dublin blocks the extra point, so it's 6 0 Dodge. Dublin about to have their initial possession of the game. Boy, Ashley and JT Wright, number one, deep for Dublin. That, uh, Dublin smartly yeah, lets yeah, go let that go out of bounds at the 20, so we'll get it on yeah, the 30. Good, yeah, right? was, yeah, that was smart play by Ashley right there, not to pick that ball up. You we'll can tell he smothered it and covered yep. it, but didn't touch it and watched it <laughs> yeah. roll out. Yep, so smart Dublin play. will have excellent field position, just like Dodge did for their initial drive of the game. Tell us about this Dublin offense, Nelson. 
Well, we've got a new quarterback coming in, Quavius Evans. Number, number seven, he's going to be a dynamic football player. He's a kid that can uh, tuck it and run, run the option. you got Quay Ashley and JT Wright back there. And off to Ashley going off to his right, and he's hit behind the line. He'll lose about two yards. The, the left side of Dodge's defensive front stripped away our block in there. And then we got Jeremiah Green, number three, a uh, senior fullback in there that's, that's looked good in summer camp. Uh, Wright and Ashley proved themselves last year. Uh, Evans is coming in. Uh, as a new quarterback taking over for Markel Mitchell, who won a state championship for us, but he's looked great. Let's call it second 11, and off to... There goes JT right JT around the left Ryder side. around the left side, into the open field, cuts back toward the middle, it'd be all the way down the Dodge 40 yard line. Tremendous run by Wright, Nelson, and that time great blocking by the left side of Dublin's offensive line. However, we got some laundry on the field on the far side. Let's check this call. He ripped off about a 24-yard, 25-yard run there, and JT, could, he can go to the house anytime he touches yeah, it. You saw the speed there. Unfortunately, it may be coming back. He and Ashley both are a threat to uh, yeah, go to distance, yeah. especially Officials on meeting over near the Dodge sideline for get the, to get the call. I'm anticipating an illegal block of some kind, maybe a hold on Dublin. Let's, let's check the call. It is I holding. Didn't, yeah. I didn't see it. I saw some good blocking out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. And that'll take the ball all the way back to Dublin's 27-yard line. They'll be second and about 18 from there. That's a shame, illegal block wiped out a great run by Wright. Right. It looked like good blocking to me from here. Yep. Double handoff, Double handoff. Wright's got it again off right to his again. left, ran through one tackle up near the 30. That was, Nelson, that's one of you hoping just kind of hits, just kind of pops. Right. That's one of those yeah. that you, yep. you hope you get a kind of surprise exactly. yeah. on. and Maybe and, make uh, a guy miss. Dodge stayed at home there. That was a good job by them to like I say, they've played, two, short they've played game. two games yeah. to our one. So, yeah. Ball will be at Dublin's 29. It's going to be third and about 16 from there. So you would think a passing situation, but let's see. Dublin with a man out wide right. That's uh, number 13, I believe. Watch out for a quarterback run here. Tyler Wright. Evans rolls to his right, throws it. That was a deep ball. Uh, Ashley caught it out of bounds. Ashley caught it, but it just was off the field of play. It would have been a first down. He did yeah. catch the ball, but he was, that was two a yards nice out throw. Of bounds. It just drifted a little bit off the off the uh, playing field. And Ashley with a nice job to catch it. Unfortunately, he was out of bounds. Potter will be in the punt for Dublin. We'll take a break and have a word from our sponsor. <laughs> this today go 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 things just seem so out of control that's why the things we can control are so important that's why we're members of our electric co-op the whole reason the co-op exists is to bring us the electricity we need so they look out for us they invest in the best technology you can get, just to keep the power on. Not because they have to. They actually do it because it's the right thing to do. People, please wear your mask. I'll tell you what, though, Evan showed a nice arm on that play, Nelson. Uh, he's, he's got the potential to be a good quarterback for Dublin for the next year. be standing at his own 18-yard line. 4.42 to go in the first quarter. Dodge about to get the ball back. Good snap. Potter off to his right. Oh. Partially blocked. Picked up by Dodge County. They'll have it at Dublin's 25. Looked like a good snap. Nelson Potter came off to his right. Unfortunately, a man broke in on him and right. got a good 
didn't completely block it, but got a good piece of it. He was not our punter yeah. last year, uh, yeah. and, and he's taking over the punting duties. And we do that rugby style punt. Yeah. And uh, unfortunately, a man flashed right in his face right there. So Dodge with tremendous field position to try to go up two scores here. Devlin defense under a lot of pressure right now. 4:37 in the left in the first quarter here. Duke Johnson bringing them up. Johnson with a handoff off the number two is running back. Well played by the left side of Dublin's defensive front. Look like Caleb Hall yeah. out there, number 55 maybe. Yeah, that was a good job by Hall. He, he might get a yard out of that, it looks like. The ball, they've got it on the 25. I think he, actually he lost a yard, Nelson. Let's call it second and 11. Good play by Hall. Ball out at 26, tremendous play, yeah. Hall has stepped up this year, he's become one of the Dodge with twins one left, on our one team. man right. Johnson with the inside handoff. Not much there. That's his running back number two, LaMarie Mitchell, Mitchell, excuse me. Yeah, Darty, well played by Dublin's defensive front. Darty slowed him up there. Yeah, it's going to bring up third and about nine from Dublin's 24-yard line. Here. Yeah. Irish defense kind of with their backs to the wall here, and thus far they've responded but this is a big third down play. Dodge with twins right. Now they bring a man in motion. They try to throw a little yeah. flare uh, to yeah. the running They'll back. They'll actually have now man in the slot, two men to the right. He's gonna Johnson run runs off to his right on the keeper and well played by Dublin's defensive front. He'll Evans, be, yeah. Evans missed him, then he went back and got him. Yeah. He might, that might go for no gain, so a nice play by Dublin's defensive front. Give him a yard, so call it fourth and eight for Dodge from Dublin's 23-yard line. They've got to get to the 15. I'm sure they'll go for this, right? Yeah, I would assume so. Johnson back with twins left. I expect to pass for us here. Yeah. Rolling to his here left, they come. throws. Has a man open, catches it. He'll get the first down. We miss a tackle. Jaquan Nelson, Morgan we had a chance to here. tackle him short of the 15, which is where he had to get. Trey Baldwin. Yeah, for the first down, unfortunately, we couldn't make the tackle. So many times on plays like that, Nelson, the Cardinal sin is not giving up the completion, but not making the tackle. Boy, Ash is coming out with a little banged up hand here. The Dodge like. now be first and 10 from the Dublin 12 yard line. Johnson rolls his right, looking to throw. Has a man wide open and he got an easy it. touchdown. He dropped an easy one. Yep. A Dublin, now, Dublin man did flash in front of him that might have distracted him just enough. But and you could have said it might have been a, yeah. a half a foot behind yeah, him, but it, was it hit a him a little both behind hands. him. Yeah, but that's one, that's one he'll regret. That's one of those back in our, our old football coach, Ray Frost Perry said, if you can touch it, you can catch it. Exactly. All right, we'll 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 take a timeout for Dodge, 2.17 to go in the first quarter. Dodge County, six, Dublin, nothing. Progressive Rural Telephone Co-op offers a full range of communication products and services to its members in Lawrence County and surrounding areas. We take pride in being your total communications provider, and we work hard to provide quality services at the best prices. In addition to offering phone service, we provide high-speed internet and digital high-def TV. And we always strive to put our members first. Progressive Rural, your total communications company. Small enough to know you, large enough to serve you. ProgressiveTel.com. Call 478-984-4201 or stop by 890 Simpson Avenue in Rents. Progressive Rule Telephone Co-op. All right, we're back. Dodge second and 10, ten from the Dublin 12. Johnson with the inside handoff. Oh, we had a man hit him, but he was being blocked. He ran through that tackle. He got to about the 10. Trey Baldwin on a yeah. tackle, he bounced off to Quan Waters there. Yeah, was that Waters? The way of him. Baldwin came up and made the stop. He get, let's give him, have they spotted the ball yet? Yeah, give him to the nine, it'll be third and about seven. Dublin runs a man in, I believe that's Nazir Johnson, defensive lineman. They're running in our heavy package here. Third and seven for Dodge. They got 
power formation to the right. Johnson back to punt throw. Intercepted. Picked off by Wright. Wright coming out of the end zone, trying to get to the sideline. Nice play, JT Wright. JT Wright. Yep. A huge stand by the Dublin defense, Nelson. JT Wright read the quarterback's yep. eyes all the way. Yeah, he read in front that, of that all ball the way. You're right. Sprinted out here to the 20. Yeah. Great play. Johnson, Save the Irish. Yeah, Johnson learned from that play because he really stared that receiver down. That's a great job by JT Wright of reading the quarterback's eyes, making the play. Got us out of out of yep. that hole from that yep. little mishap from yep. the uh, no harm, no foul the on the block kick. So Dublin will take over their own 19 with a 131 to go in the first quarter. Dodge County leads it six nothing. See if Dublin can maybe substantiate a little drive here. Evans on the keeper, not much there. He'll get maybe a yard. I couldn't tell if that was a botch play or just yeah, I don't know if he was going to give that inside handoff or he just wound up pulling it and keeping it on purpose, but not much there. You're going to see him tuck the ball and run it some, though. Yeah. And he's explosive when he gets on the corner, I'll tell you that. He'll give him near the 21. Let's call it second and a long eight. Now with one minute to go in the quarter, the Irish their defense just made a huge stand to turn Dodge away after they had great field position. Running number 13, Tyler Wright in there is a wide out out here. Hand off to Wright, cuts. Again. Yep, he'll be up close to his first down. He's approaching the 30. I think he'll be maybe a yard short, Nelson, somewhere around the 28. Looks like we're going to run down to the end of the first yeah. here, maybe. Actually, that'll be a first down. Ball will be placed at the 29, so first and 10 for Dublin. It appears they will not run another play. I'll let the quarter run out and line it up and start the second quarter. Looks like they're going to run the clock down here. Dublin in no hurry to run this next play. Although the clock, they may have to actually snap the ball, Nelson, because the play clock's going to run out. Looks like the Did we call a time? Right. Okay, Dublin calls a time. To get us. Yeah. Looks that wasn't a bad idea, really. Yeah. Coach Jones always thinking. Always yeah. watching the clock, always and you thinking. You certainly don't want to take a penalty right there and be first and 15. Okay. Not when it looks like we may have a little movement here. Yeah. Nice run by Wright a minute ago to get the first down. Wright and Ashley have looked good both offensively and defensively. Yeah, they tonight. sure have. Of course, we're expecting those guys to carry our team. Which Aquarius Evans showed a nice arm on that one throw. As I look down our roster, Crather, I know we replaced a lot of guys, but I see a lot of freshmen. I yep. see a lot of sophomores, and I see a lot of juniors out yep. here. Yeah, you don't see a whole lot of seniors on this in this lineup. How you do on the starting offense, you see quite a few, but but as you say, a lot of underclassmen on this team, which bodes well for the future. All right, Dublin with .7 seconds left. We'll run one play, and then we'll go to the second quarter. Irish trail, Dodge County, 6 nothing. Hand off to Ashley. Ashley, little stutter step move. He'll get up. Maybe. Yeah, he gets about five. He'll get up to 35. And that'll be the end of the quarter. After one quarter, your score, Dodge County, 6, Dublin, nothing. Since 1999, Stephenson has been working to keep you and our community safe. Our mission is to lessen the trauma suffered by individuals who have been abused or assaulted. We provide evaluation in a safe, caring environment to encourage collaboration of services for the benefit of the victim and their non-offending family members. We strive to increase the protections of victims and hold offenders.
offenders accountable. Here at Stepping Stone, you are never alone. If you or someone you know has been a victim of child abuse or sexual assault, please know we are here for help and comfort. We offer a variety of resources to help meet your needs and get you out of difficult situations. If you are in immediate danger, please call 911 or call our fully confidential crisis number at 478-595-8339. You can also reach us at our office at 478-275-9010. All right, we're back, starting the second quarter. Dublin, second, and let's call it five. Second five, yeah, yeah looks like Nice there. run by Ashley to end the quarter. Again, Ashley, Ashley again. off to his right, stutter steps. Got a it's little bit of gain, not a whole lot, maybe, maybe two yards. Being, being friendly with the sticks down yeah. there. Actually, he got more yards than I thought. Nelson beats third and maybe two. Josh Dereso and our chain gang's being friendly with the sticks over there. <laughs> yeah, they would need all the help we can get. Mm -hmm. The nose of the football is just outside the 38 yard, just inside, I should say, the 38 of Dublin. They've got to get nearly to the 40, so let's call it third and a yard. Dublin with a bunch formation, running back directly behind quarterback, trying to get a push. I don't know if we did or not on the keeper. Yeah, that's. It wasn't a whole lot of push there. Well played by the defensive front for Dodge that time. It'll all depend on the spot. First and ten, first and ten is yeah. what first down. Is. So we got that traditional left foot spot, Nelson. Apparently, right. Well, the white hat uh, yeah. is in there on that. And, and to be and honest with you, where they got the ball snapped, I mean spotted. I didn't. I thought we had to get closer to the forty than that. But they called it first down, so we'll take it. Those Dublin first and 10 from their 39 with 10.54 to go in the first half. Double handoff, hand right off. with the ball there going straight up the there field. Goes. With speed right. into the open field. He'll take he it to the flag. house. He'll take it yep. to the house. Yep. Yep. Yes, he's, he's in there. Nelson, he's he did see a flag. Let's we'll have to check this penalty. I hope we didn't have an illegal block. Tremendous run by Ashley on the double handoff. Something way down yeah, here. So JT way Wright, down I'm sorry, not Yeah, they're calling it on Dublin. Yep. JT Wright on the, on the run. I believe we're going to have a holding call. And Nelson, it looked like a holding call was made just as he broke into the open. So right. he may not have even needed it. But unfortunately, they called it. Wright trying to work out the kinks. He may have a little bit of cramping going on. Another tremendous double handoff, yeah, inside yeah. handoff Great execution there. on the double handoff. And Wright showed that tremendous speed he's got. That's twice we've run that play yeah. for good yardage, so yeah. you know we're going to go back to it. And of course, right now the holding calls are killing the Dublin offense. Ball will be all the way back at the Dublin 40-yard line. From the point of yeah. infraction there? Yeah. Yeah, it is. They've got to get to the 49, it looks like, for a first down. So first we'll call nine. it first and nine. First and nine? <laughs> yeah. It looks like. Yeah. Kind of a weird way to say that after yeah. the penalty. You don't see that very often. They brought back a touchdown, but. Yeah. Well, let's, we're going to have to earn it, I guess. Dublin with one man out left. Tyler oh, right yeah, out here. Yeah, out right. Left. And somebody moved. I think you don't have motion on the Dublin offense. Dodge is pointing at us. And now it'll be first and 14 from the 30, just inside the 35. It's hard for me to see that, but our dark green jerseys really yeah. mesh well with that dark yeah. new turf. Well, yeah, that the, Every they kind of alternate dark turf and lighter turf. And Beautiful. When yeah, when we're on Beautiful the dark turf, it is hard to, hard to see the difference in the Dublin jerseys and the color of the field. Dr. Fred Williams has uh, came up with a plan last year. Uh, the Board of Education approved it to uh, redo all these renovations, and we really, really, really hats off to Dr. Fred Williams. Yep. And off to the left, the right, no blocking there. He might lose a yard. Tried to come off to his left and no blocking at the point of attack. Well played by the defensive front for Dodge right there. Ralph Howard. Uh, 
in there on the tackle there for Don't Dodge. Don't forget your mask, you know. guys, fans. Don't forget your mask. I see some of you without your mask on. You're not eating. Come on now. Running right off here. Yeah, he after that long run, he looked like he, he might have been be. cramping a little. But probably needs some fluids. Needs some right. biolite. Double now with two men in the backfield, inside handoff. No, keeper by Evans. Into the open field, oh, across midfield. Tremendous, <laughs> tremendous ball fake right there by Jaquarius Evans. Everybody Crawford. thought he had handed that ball off. This is, this is some of the things that we talked about earlier tonight that we're gonna see this year that we hadn't seen in the last seven or eight years with Dublin. Uh, Markell was a, a, a big stout guy, 225, 230, that would stand back there and, and, and throw the ball and, and hand it off and, and run when he needed to in, his, in the state championship game to win us that game. But uh, you're gonna see a different type quarterback yeah. here. Yeah, Evan showed great running ability right there. First and 10 Irish from the 47 of Dodge. Again on here the keeper, again. Evans. Down inside the 45, near the 42. Nice run off to his right on the keeper. Once you see Dodge start biting on him, you'll, you'll yeah. see him start pitching that thing out. Yep. We'll take a break and have a word from our sponsor. <laughs> My name is Jeremy Blackstock. I'm the head of school at Trinity Christian. We would invite you to come to our campus so we can show you around and discuss ways that we can partner with your family in Christian education. Our goal here is to teach the truth and to have students leave here prepared to serve others and serve God in their communities. Place the ball at the 43, the nose football just touching their 43, and it'll be second and five from there. Dublin definitely in a dog fight yeah, tonight. Yeah, here. absolutely. Maybe, a, let's call it a long five, closer to six, actually. Now, one man directly behind Evans. And off Ashley. to Ashley, off to his right. He should have his first, first down. down looks like. Drags a tackler a couple of yards upfield. And I believe he'll have it somewhere around the 37 yard line of Dodge. Let's check Mike the spot. Neal and Dennis Wilcher over here just taking a Dodge County go, player all the way go. down to the ground over here on a really nice block over here. Irish pounding away right now, Craig. Yep. They look really good. Yeah. Third and what, one ball at the 38. Same position we were in about four yep. minutes ago. Dodge loading the line. Yeah. Again, the keeper, and he should have his first down, Evans. It's gonna be close. Keeper, yeah. He did move to his left a yeah, little bit. Yeah, a little bit, and he got a push. You can do that push now. Got a push from his halfback, helping him out. That should be the first down. He, we got a little bit of a push in, that, in the middle right there. The referee's foot is dead on the line. Yeah, ball, it will be a first down. That'll be, that ball will be placed on the, the 37. They're gonna call it fourth and... Oh, well, they are, I'm sorry. Fourth and four inches yeah, is what fourth it looks and, like. Yeah, just a couple of inches. Basically, if you see the football and you see that piece of white tape or whatever, just right. ahead of it to the left, that's where we've got to get is to that white tape. So what's that? Maybe six inches? Maybe. Huge play for the Irish here on fourth and inches. Again, the quarterback keeper stacked he up, but it. a good push. Yeah, second effort gets it for Evans right there. Good job by a couple of our offensive linemen. Nelson, he was a little bit of a push. He was immediately yeah, stood he up. He sure was. And a couple good. of guys, I think, knocked guys off of him to allow him to surge forward just That's going to be Ramonte Hardy and yeah. Desmond Gilbert in yeah. there doing all that push. Yeah, he, got all, he got to the 36, so it'll be first and 10 Irish from there with 6.50 to go in the half. Dublin trails 6 nothing. Talked to Des Gilbert this afternoon before the game before, before lunch, and he just pointed his eyes, focused in the locker room today, like, watch, ready for a big game tonight. Looking for big things out of Des Gilbert. Oh, we got a what, motion, I guess, or either delay. By the official over here, down here on the 15-yard yeah. line. I don't know, that was delay? Yeah. Delay a game on Dublin. 
That'll take the ball back to the 41 of Dodge County. First and 15. Nelson, you sure don't need those kind of mistakes. Penalties are yeah. really hurting us right yeah. now in our first game, and that's going to happen sometimes. Oh, yeah. Not a surprise, but you, you hate to see it just the same. Look right there, I will say, you've seen the firepower we've got. We can turn it around. Yeah. A lot of speed with Ashley and Wright running the ball. Evans back to pass, under some pressure, throws it. Ashley, Ashley out in the left flat, makes a man miss. He'll be down near the, in, near the 15. Hey, hey. Great throw and great job by Ashley to get yardage after the catch down near the Dodge 15 yard line. Good blocking out here by yeah, 13 very good Tyler right out here on the corner to spring him. Yep. Ball will be placed on the Dodge 15. First and 10, the Irish from there, looking to score and possibly take the lead with 6.20 to go in the half. Evans with inside handoff, not a whole lot of room there. Jeremiah Green, our fullback. Yeah. Green, senior fullback. May, it might have gotten a yard there, let's see. Looks like they're gonna give him two over yeah, there. Yeah, maybe two. Call it second and eight from Dodge 13 yard line. Green's a bruiser. Six to go. He's yeah. a bruiser and, and when he gets a note, he can, he can turn it on too. Yeah, he just, he got stood up right there. Just not a lot of room to run. Again, Green directly behind him, Ashley and Wright on the corners. Wide, Wide open. open out there, Tyler oh, Wright. Oh, he yeah, had him. Tyler Wright and Jaquarius Evans. He was just too wide open, yeah. Nelson. They might have aimed that ball just a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. It, yeah, just over bit through it far. just ever so slightly. Boy, that was a great call. He was wide, wide open. open. All right, it'll be third and eight, though, for Dublin from the Dodge 13-yard line. So Nelson, that's twice the Irish have had either a scoring play call back or what should have been a scoring play and just weren't able to execute it. Good call by Coach Hunter. That was a great call. call. Evans back to pass, under pressure, throws late. And, and he comes call. back and catches it. What a tremendous catch by Wright. Looks like Tyler and Wright down there. Came back and one yard line. Ball. Tyler Wright. Had to outfight the defender for that ball. It looked, Nelson, it looked like the defensive back was going to have it. It did. He was in the end yeah, zone. It looked he like was he in came position. Back. Yeah. He came back. He fought off the defender and, and, and made a. That's a tremendous job. Tremendous. By right. Tremendous job. Is he JT's brother? No, no. Uh, oh, okay. Tyler, Tyler's another set of rights. And uh, Coach Holmes says he's probably got the best hands on the team. He showed it right there. Dublin first and goal from the Dodge one yard line. And off to Boy, Ashley, Ashley, off to his right, goes in, easily scores. Touchdown, Dublin. Touchdown, Irish. Quay Ashley with good blocking off to his right, goes in, standing for an easy touchdown. Irish and that successful extra point away from taking the lead. Potter on the kick. Uh, I think Tyler Wright's been our holder for three years now. Potter always solid on his kicks. A little bit of a low snap, but it Potter is. gets it up. Kick is up and good. So your new school at 523 to go from the Shamrock Bowl. Dublin seven, Dodge County six. Allen's Heating and Cooling is your licensed Amana equipment dealer. Trust Allen's Heating and Cooling to install and service your heating and cooling unit. Allen services all brands and with the purchase of a new Amana, offers a lifetime compressor warranty. Call Sean Clark or any of his friendly staff at Allen's Heating and Cooling. Your Amana dealer. Amana lasts and lasts and lasts. All right, we're back. John Potter about to kick off for Dublin. The Irish with their first lead of the night, seven to six, after a tremendous drive for a touchdown. 
unbelievable catch by Tyler Wright to set us up first and goal at the Dodge one yard line. Wright's been waiting his turn to play and he's, he's showing it. Yep. Good strong kick by Potter. Inside the fifth thing, fumbled. Dublin's that one's got, got, got several that men down there. The ball squirts loose. And Dodge may have gotten it back. It looks like it scooted yeah. out of our hand, yep. maybe. Yeah, we had like three guys right there in position to fall on that ball. And There's no just, way they should have got it. Yeah, just squirted out of their reach. Dodge, I believe, got it back just across their 25. That's that a could huge have been break huge. for them. That yep. could have been huge with 518 yep. left to go in the half yep. here. Turf might have had something to do with that yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, just kind of squirted out of there. Ball will be placed on, on their 20, 27 yard line. 518 to go in the half. Dublin defense trying to get the ball back for their offense. Try to put some more points on the board before the end of the half. Johnson, freshman Johnson yeah. bringing them up Twins again. right. Johnson He's looked to throw and busted Clay. Oh, he, he makes something away. out of nothing. Tremendous run by Johnson up near the 35. Jaquan Waters comes yeah. up and makes a stop there. Yeah, we got a man down across the way. Short Short like Waters, maybe. Yeah, that Waters. He made that tackle. Favoring his left leg, I think. He's, okay. he's going to stay he's... in the game. Now he's coming out. All right, Dodge and Nelson by all rights. Johnson should have been sacked for a three or four yard loss. Wound up gaining six yards. The ball will be placed on their 34 yard line. Now we got a timeout. Let's take it with 5.02 to go in the half. Your score, Dublin 7, Dodge County 6. Good morning, this is Kyle Gerard with A-Plus Flooring and Construction. I'm standing in a home that we recently renovated for a customer. A kitchen is a very vital part of a home, especially when you get ready to resell or just you like to entertain people. We came in with new granite countertops. We even changed some of the seating areas of it. We refinished all the cabinets, put new doors, new hardware. We can use your existing cabinets. One of the things that we did that changed the look of this kitchen was the lighting that we did. We added a lot of LED spotlights. Went from an old oak, gun stock, hardwood floor to a new hickory, random length floor. We can change it from top to bottom. Lots of many pretty things that we've done. Come by and see us at A-Plus Flooring and Construction at 1801 Rice Avenue in Dublin, Georgia. Or give us a call at 478-676-2662. Hope to see you soon. All right, we're back, Dodge second and four. And Nelson, we talked about Jaquarius Evans running ability earlier. Duke Johnson showed some right there for Dodge. As a freshman. He'll be a good one in a year or two. Well, he's good right now, but we give him a little him season, and he'll be really middle good. Middle school team and a middle school yeah. baseball team. Johnson Make him an athlete. stands up to throw, complete. Good one good, good well played by good Ashley job. right there. Clay yeah. Ashley, it looked like. Clay Ashley, up. yeah. He comes up with the ball That's trying to run for a touchdown. Ashley, Ashley wants the ball. ball. Yeah, I don't, I, they'll call him down. Come on! Dodge's receiver, number three, Jonah Collins, favoring the leg. He's down on the field now. Probably have to see a replay on that one. Yeah. Well, bottom line, it was called dead at the 34. No gain on that, so it'll be important thing. It'll be third and four. We'll take an injury timeout and be right back. Badcock Home Furniture and More is your home store, where you'll find great savings on new living room sets, sofas, love seats, recliners, and more. Badcock Home Furniture and More has great savings every day on bedding and bedroom sets. 
Shop Adcock Home Furniture and more for a great selection of dining room sets. And save every day on electronics and appliances at Badcock Home Furniture and more. 1927 Highway 441 South in Dublin. Call 275-3144 for more information. Or stop by and see Wendy and Tim Sumner or any of their friendly staff today at Badcock and more Home Furniture Store, where no credit is ever refused. All right, we're back. Third and long four for Dodge. After a great play by Quash, big play here. The pass. Running late in the quarter. Johnson out. I got my. They had some motion inside handoff. Well played again by Ashley. We might, if we can decline this penalty, Nelson, we might, because he was stopped was, at the 35. They'd have to punt, but let's check the call. I think it was before the. Before yeah, the I believe play it started, was. It'll, so. it'll cancel the play altogether. I, I believe. That was a tremendous play by Ashley, though. And it looks like it will be, yeah, the penalty will be declined by Dublin as Ashley took him down at the 35, about two yards short of the first down. And I can hear the, the Irish coaches down, down say, here yeah. just screaming for the punt block to yeah. get out there. So Dodge will be in a punting situation with 418 to go in the half. We've got Ashley back deep. Standing near his 35. We don't need to jump offside here. There we go. I think we did. Did we jump? Let's check this. Somebody. Or did the Indians jump? They drew it, might have drawn us offside. Let's check the call. They are backing them up. Yeah, Dublin's not yeah. flinching at all. Ball will be just spotted just inside the Dodge 30-yard line. Dublin stands to gain great field position from this. Dublin Ashley will be standing. Dublin's still with that pump block team. Nelson, I should say, Ashley will be standing just inside his 40. Low Good line kick. drive kick. He'll field it cleanly, come off to his left, makes one man miss. Now back to his right, not much there. He'll be taken down at the 40. Still good, good field position, yeah. Good, really well, good well covered there. by Dodge's punt team. Still, double and have good field position at their own yeah. forty if yard line. Got by those two. Yeah, uh, he, he might have been off to the races. Thirty yards, yeah. but great coverage by Dodge County there. Yeah. Good kick too. Low line drive kick, you can see yeah. it from here, and I thought Ashley may have a chance to do something. Yeah, that's with one of those. If he makes one man miss, he might go. Great stand by Dublin there, and we yeah. got the ball. Looks Dublin's like Dublin's defense playing very well after struggling to stop Dodge at all on that first drive of the game. Four minutes to go till half. Let's see what they can do. Keeper Evans coming off to his left. No blocking. He gets about a yard. Well played by the right side of Dodge's defensive line. I believe that was Javon, Javon Smith, Smith, one of their linebackers. Here. Yeah. Or maybe a safety man in Senior. on the play. Senior or he made the play, right actually, not in on made, made the play. Dublin shown already tonight in the first half, Craig, that they're, they're, they're not afraid to throw the ball. Yeah. Dodge Cannon starts crowding that line. Expect Holmes to call some right. more uh, Second nine play action. For the Irish from their 41. Empty backfield at the moment. And let's see what the call is. Might that have was going to be a. Yeah. We look confused with that formation. And right, and it looked like it was going to be a sweep or a fake yeah. sweep over here, and, and it, yeah. it, it never evolved. It's one they might need to work on a little more in practice. That's a right. new look. I don't know if I've ever seen that look in empty backfield out of a Roger Holmes coach team. Well, we had JT coming this way in motion, yeah. and you couldn't tell whether he was going to give him the ball or whether he was going to take it and go the other way with it. Yeah. Uh, with Evans, you never know. I mean, they're giving him uh, a lot of leeway to do, th do things with that ball because of the legs. Doubling at their, own, at their 35, double handoff right, hit he from behind, away. runs through a tackle. Oh, oh, big hit at the end. He was down. Oh, man, he's holding his leg. Yeah, that's, oh. He's moving yeah, it. Yeah, he's moving it, but he's holding, he's I believe moving, that's a right leg. Yeah, yeah, he's in a lot of pain, you can tell. Yeah, we'll take a quick break for the injury timeout. Be right back.
From humble beginnings with a desire to serve the Dudley community, Bank of Dudley has grown to five locations, serving Lawrence, Twiggs, and surrounding counties. Serving our community since 1905, the Bank of Dudley is looking forward to its second century of community banking. Drop in today to any of our five locations, Jeffersonville, Dudley, East Dublin, Veterans Boulevard, and Downtown Dublin. Bank of Dudley, member FDIC, and an equal housing lender. All right, we're back. JT Wright was able to come off the field under his own power. I think he may have been cramping right there. He took a big hit. Yeah, trainer Melissa yeah. McDuffie was out there working on both ankles, yeah. so thank goodness. It's Ball's at the 43, bad. Dublin third and seven. They've got to get to right at midfield for the first down. Expect something to Ashley here. Yeah, Evans rolling under flag. heavy pressure, flag on the play. Big time pressure from, uh, that's uh, Smith, Javon Smith again. Also a flag, so let's sort this out. I don't know if Dodge is gonna be able to decline this and have us punt yeah. or what we're gonna have here. But Yeah, Evans was under big time heat as he tried to are. roll to his right and throw the ball. We'll set up a fourth yeah, down yeah, and yeah. six for Dublin. Penalty Seven. on Dublin, we declined, so Dodge will get the ball back with about two and a half minutes to go in the first half. It's gonna be fourth and seven for the Irish. Potter in, punt for Dublin. Nelson, hopefully we'll be able to execute this right, kick. Right, that penalty, it stopped the clock, yeah. so it's not running. Yep. Play clock's running. Dodge will have two timeouts left. Potter standing just outside his own 30 yard line. Plenty of time. Good snap, runs off to his right, kicks it, good kick. Oh, great bounce, picked up on the bounce by the return man for Dodge coming up near midfield. Good return across the 45. Ramonte Darty. Yeah, that's number 10, Jalon Haynes for Dodge. Darty Pretty good kick by Potter, but unfortunately it bounced right to him. Nelson, he was able to get it and go. Now let's check it. There is a flag on the play. Let's check this call. Right here. Might have an illegal block on Dodge County. We got 2.29 to go in a half. Dublin leads it seven to six. Dodge will have the ball. The question is where? Really impressed with Darty as big as he is, come flying across yeah, the field. Yeah, great play. There. Got a holding call, I believe, or an illegal block of some kind on Dodge. Well, was, a, was that a hold? I believe it was. With 2.29 left, yeah. we don't need to give them any field position. Yeah, I mean, there's... They just took themselves out of good field position all the way back now to their own 30. I'm sorry. They're 26 yards. <coughs> Dodge with two timeouts to work with, but now they're backed up. <sighs> Dublin, uh, Dodge, I should say, with twins left, one man in the slot and one man right. Johnson with a handoff off to his running back with some room. Makes a nice cut up across the 35. Nice gain. He'll be close to first down yardage with that. Right held him up, Quash yeah. came in and finished yeah, him up. Ball bit to 36, be second about one for Dodge with 2.08 to go in the half. Dublin runs a man off. I believe that was Desmond Gilbert coming off. A little winded. Now we're down to 155 to go in the half. Dodge with stacked receivers to the left, a bunch receivers left. And handoff, oh, yeah, well played by Darty. Tremendous play by Ramonte, Ramonte Darty. He stayed home, Nelson, wasn't fooled at all on that play. They, they Dublin, faked one handoff and tried to give it to the man coming around from his right, and Darty was having none of it. Dublin not calling time. They want, to, yeah. they want him to force him to run another play and use it for, we call one this yeah. half, right? Yeah, we got two left with 120 to go in the half. Dodge now be third and about seven. Expect a timeout if Dodge doesn't Johnson get a first rolls down. left. There is a flag complete well, for the first down if the play stands just across the 40. However, let's watch the penalty call. I think that'll be on Dodge, but let's check it. Flag was thrown in Dodge County's backfield. Illegal Potter, motion, I believe. Uh, 
Spotter Nelson Carlson the fourth one of our Board of Education members up here with us helping out Spot and is claiming it's going to be a illegal shift illegal, apparently illegal by shift Dodge. Here. That will cost them a first down with a completed pass. We've got some eyes up here 30 years younger than ours. Uh, exactly. Now the ball will be placed back at Dodge's 29, I'm sorry, 24 yard line. Be third and about 13 for them with 109 to go in the first half. That's 20 seconds, 25 yeah. seconds there that we won't get back. Is that a new quarterback? I believe it is. Inside handoff with running room. Big stick. He'll be driven out at the 35. He'll be just short of his first down, so Dodge will have to punt. He runs by ball. And Jeremiah and Green, I believe, made that tackle. Yeah. Short of the first down. I'll be placed at the 35, so it'll be fourth and about two. Maybe three. With 102 to go in the half. Dodge with their quarterback in there. Duke Johnson is in there. Let's see if they're going forward or if they're going to punt here. Might be a quick kick. They're trying to get us to jump. Trying to get us to jump. Yeah. Good discipline by the double defense. Good job, Dodge will call a timeout. Dodge will call a timeout. Good discipline by Dublin's defense right there to not jump. And it's late in the half and they're real tired and they, they could have jumped. So kudos to the Irish defense there. All right, we'll take a quick break. Be right back. The City of Dublin Natural Gas provides the most cost-efficient source of energy available today. So for your home, choose the most natural resource. Safe, clean, efficient. All new subdivisions around the Dublin area have natural gas available. Start reducing your energy bills today with Dublin City Natural Gas Department. Natural gas, the smart choice. Call 277-5048 today and let us help you start saving today. All right, we're back. Dodge about to punt. I believe that num I believe that's George Jackson, number 32, to punt for them. Very important. Ashley's standing back near his 35. Good snap. Good strong good punt. kick. Yeah, good kick. Ashley unable to feel it, and it'll go down. Died about the 33. He's going to got 55 seconds to go in the half, so the Irish with not a lot of time to work with Nelson, and unfortunately, given the fact we weren't able to feel that punt, well, Craig, not great the way, field position. The way I look at that, it only takes JT Wright or Quay Ashley about 20 seconds. That's to true. Run now Wright came off with what looked to be cramps a few minutes ago, but he is back in there. Right, we had him back out on defense on that last stand, yeah. so it looks like trainer Melissa McDuffie is working her magic on him down there. I doubt Dublin will get real fancy right here, Nelson. I imagine they'll run one of their basic plays. Not get too cute, but let's see. Ashley in motion, and we got illegal motion. That was going to be an inside handoff to Green. And you called it right. Yeah. Might not get fancy, but it's early in the year. Yeah. First game, they played a full half, and, and the guys are going to be tired already. Yeah. Really, really tired already yeah. at Dublin, halftime here. And let's be honest, we've had a lot of penalties on offense. Made a lot of mistakes. Of course, one cost us a touchdown. And that's what's making this game close. We'll make our media coverage as well for coming out tonight. All right, it's Dublin will be first and that's 10 at their, Thank you, media. I think, the 27, maybe the 26. First and 15, I should say. Green with the inside handoff across the 30. Turning that fullback, see if yeah. he can bust something. We'll uh, probably just kill the clock here, the next play or two, unless we on the carry, bust yeah. something. Run one play, it looks like. Maybe two yards left. Second and 11. You can hear the Dodge coaches over there screaming, watch for the swing pass. Mm -hmm. I like this crazy the way they've redone the stadium with the brick in here. You can hear a lot. Yeah. Up top right. up here now. Hand off to right, right off to again. his left. Across the 35. Try up to about spring the 37. Him. Yeah. 
hoping to bust that, and that will be your final play of the quarter, I mean the first half, I should say. Coach Holmes is going to call a timeout, looks like. Well, let's see. They haven't as yet. No. Nope. That'll be the end of the first half from the Shamrock Bowl. Your score, Dublin 7, Dodge County 6. Community Bank of Dublin Lawrence County is here to help with all of your financial needs. Our team knows what it takes to make life easy and convenient and will help you get set up with our mobile and online banking. We founded Community Bank on common sense banking and a dedication to help people just like you. Our loan officer Gail Rainey and branch manager Amy Thompson know what it takes to make life easy and convenient and can help you with loans with almost everything from your automobile, home, land, or any financial goals you have. Come visit us today. Community Bank of Dublin Lawrence County, where common sense banking never goes out of style. All right, we're back for the second half kickoff. The Irish to receive a little bit of a squib kick picked up just inside right. the 30 by, is that JT Wright? Comes off to his right, makes a couple men miss up near the 35. So the Irish will have good field position to start this third quarter. Really good first half of football, Crayther. Dublin yep. uh, with a lot of penalties and, and still uh, hitting this ball game seven to six. Looking out over the crowd, uh, first game, really, really good crowd on both sides of the field here. Yeah, of course, Dodge County only a 25 minute ride from here, so. They and uh, also, turned out strong. We didn't. I didn't mention his. Uh, their number ranked number seven in double A in the state. I didn't realize that, but they got a good team. And off to right, off to his left, seemed to have a big hole. He got a few yards, but Nelson, I thought that was going to go for a bigger gain than that. Jalen James, wide receiver, DB comes up and makes a pretty good stop there for Dodge County. Yeah, Dodge County in double A, ranked number seven up there. Uh, not to leave our Irish short here. Uh, Doubles ranked, ranked what fourth in single A. They're ranked number saw. three in some polls and number mm -hmm. four in some polls in single A. So uh, yeah. you're looking at a slobber knocker of a game. Absolutely. Second and seven for Dublin here. Oh, fumble! It looks like bad exchange. Yeah, yeah, bad exchange yeah. right there. And I believe Evans was able to fall on the ball at the, right at the 35. Another mistake yep. put us in third and long again. It's going to be third and about, let's call it third and a long nine. Coach Holmes wing to the offense is one of those three or four yards. Yeah, not set up for the long, long haul. Ground, ground, grind it out three or four yards at a time and uh, not offense is not set up for the third and nine, third and tens here. Yeah. Evans Dropping back, back to, pass, to pass under some pressure and tried to hit Green out in the left flat. The ball was thrown high. Good coverage over yeah, there. Yeah, good by coverage by Dodge. And Green really took a shot to the ribs. He's in some pain over on the Dodge sideline. 21 Sherman Clay on some pretty Or it might be, a, is he favoring a leg? I thought it was the ribs. Seems to be favoring his right leg. And right. One of Dodge's. These are assistants or trainers attempting to stretch him out over there. We got an injury timeout. We'll be right back. It's nothing personal. It's just business. Hello? That's how some people do things. Right away. To us, everything we do is personal. Because... Anyone can answer the call. It's who shows up that matters most. That's the quality of your independent agent and the company that stands behind them. Ask Curry Maffet Insurance in Dublin if auto owners make sense for you. All right, we're back. Jeremiah Green was an injured player, appeared to have cramps, was able to come off under his own power. Dublin in a punting situation. Potter will be standing on his 25. Good snap. He'll kick it straight on. Good kick. He'll get the roll down inside the 20. Dodge Won't had be fielded. Yeah, Dodge was unable to field the ball and roll all the way down to the Dodge 15-yard line. 
Great job by Potter right there, Nelson. He kicked it straight on. He didn't do the rugby kick. Dodge had the yep. line. They, yep. they loaded up, and they were yep. trying to come after us that time. And he, well, he kind of kicked a knuckleball, and when it hit it, got it gave him a good bit of roll. Dodge had no interest in returning that ball at all. Well, hopefully the Irish defense can get them three and out here and get good field position on the exchange of punts. Still early, early, early in the third quarter here. Third quarter, seven to six. Another thing I've noticed, Craig, there is, uh, along with the addition of the new field, we got new goalposts, and it's like they're about six or eight foot higher than what we've had before. I didn't, I didn't notice that. Bring them with a jet sweep. Big hit out there by Willis, I believe, across the 20. Juan Willis, you're right. Yeah. That was Keegan Williams, their wide receiver on a jet sweep for a nice gain of about five. Again, another addition on top of the goal post, we've got the ribbons now, so you can yeah, you, you can you can check kinda, the wind. You can check the wind and you know that wind when it gets down to this bowl, it will swirl. Yep. Johnson inside handoff. Bounces it to the outside. Well played by the Dublin defense. He did break one tackle across the 20. Gets a couple of yards. That's number one, Demron Gordon. Ashley sprung him out, and Dennis Wilcher yeah. come in there and, and cleaned him, him up. Third, third, short. Three yards, third, third and about three for Dodge. The ball on there, 22. They got to get to the 25. Hold. Really good hustle by Wilcher there. Yeah, that's a good job by Dublin. Def the De Dublin defense to string it out. Dodge with twins left, one man right. Johnson to hand off to his wing back. He should have the first down. Oh, he did a big hit just as he got to the 25. That was Gordon again, his running back. He, it appeared he was going to get that first down That'll easily, but boy, he got stuck by somebody right at the 25. However, the ball, the nose of the football is a little across the 25, so they will have the first down. That was a big hit by somebody, like Nelson. Desmond I couldn't Gilmer, tell who it Desmond was. Gilmer Gilmer. Over there again. Yeah. Heck of a stick. Dodge with a kind of a ball control offense. Yeah. Yeah, they do. Of course, good athlete, Duke Johnson. Low snap. He'll pick it up, go off to his right with room. Ran through a tackle all the way up to about the 40. I believe that was... Um, Trey Baldwin out there. Trey like. Baldwin on Tacking. the tackle, but he kind of he Tacking took a big high. hit from Johnson. He ran awfully strong. Ball will be all the way up at their 38, so another first down for Dodge County. See that little freshman uh, quarterback's quickness there. Yeah, because that was a bad snap, and he just picked up, didn't hesitate a minute, and got upfield. Johnson, one man to his left. A little bit of a low snap again. He'll keep it and come off to the left side and up near the 45. Nice gain again. And Nelson, unfortunately, their first drive of the third quarter looks like their first drive of the ball game. Quavius Evans on the tackle up there, did a good job holding yeah, he, him up. Give him five, him up there. nose of the football just touching their 43, call it second and five. Evans having to go both ways for tonight. Yeah. Quarterback on offense also, you know. Johnson, another low snap. The ball. Yep, he's hit, him. runs through a tackle, dances around, hit hard. He might get to the 45. Several low snaps they've had on this drive, but it hadn't cost them yet. We'll take a break and have a word from our sponsor. <laughs> They work all week for Friday night. Go Dublin! Are you ready? And hey, keep going. And when you call, click, or visit Dublin Chevy Nissan, you'll see our teamwork in action. Let me put your dream in your driveway. Let's take a test drive. The right vehicle, the right experience, the right dealer. Good job, here we and go! And remember, Don sells cars well only at Dublin Chevy Nissan. You'll score a winning deal every time at Dublin Chevy Nissan. Well, Johnson's a great athlete. He showed you a lot right, of... Very, very shifty. Yeah, very shifty. 
third and about four from their 45 and got a timeout. I think Dublin had a man running off late right there and had to use a timeout, I believe. I believe that was Willis coming off late. Now we're running a man on. Run Darty yeah, on. Darty on, Dominic Darty. I guess that was a substitution. We did not call a timeout there. So. All right, third and four. Johnson fakes the handoff, gonna throw it, has a man open, he's complete. And he'll get a couple more yards into Dublin territory. First down for Dodge County. Good throw by Johnson. Yes, yeah, wide receiver went up high and caught that ball. I believe that was that number 10, Haynes or James. Jawan James, I believe Ryan it was. Waters over there on the tackle yeah. over there. Ball all the way at Dub down to Dublin's 47. First and 10 for Dodge County from there with 6.20 to go in the third quarter. Dublin leads 7-6. Inside handoff coming off to his left. Run through a tackle down to the Dublin 40. So Dodge biting off chunks of yardage right now, Nelson. Well, they got... They've got Dublin sitting back, and, and they're blocking again. Yeah, well they're the blocking corners. well, and Dublin defense kind of back on their heels a little bit. Well, that, this is this is going to go to condition where they've played two games, and, and, and we've played one. Yeah. So. Malachi O'Neill ran in just now for Dublin defense. All right, first, second, and about four for Dodge. There's a pass off to his left, complete down inside the 30. Good blocking out there. On yeah, the had some blocking with the receiver. Wide receiver was blocked well over yeah. there. That's complete in his first down. That'll be a first down. Ball will be placed just inside the 30, I believe, at the 29 of Dublin with 5.35 to go in the third quarter. Dublin ahead 7-6, but Dodge Gilbert. driving. Gilbert coming out yeah. gas, needing a breather. Yeah. breather. Actually, that ball, I think, will be placed at 27. Inside handoff, big hit. Well played, he ran, Darty had a hold of him. Ramonte Darty. Yeah, he got, he didn't Darty get much. He might have, let's call it no gain, second and 10. Darty's not well one played by Darty. Darty's not one you're gonna run by. No. No gain on the play. When he second hits you, you stay hit. Second and, yeah, second and 10, trips right for Dodge. One man in the backfield with Johnson. Wasting no time. Yeah. Now throws it complete. Oh, had a man wide open right oh, about the 15. Out there. Yep, hit him right in the shoulder pads. Good coverage out there. That was James 18. again. Yeah, he was running wide open, had a step and a half on the Dublin defender. It should have caught that ball. Right. Might have scored. Quan Waters out there again on the yeah. coverage and uh, tried to come up with it. Yeah. Really good defensive play there, though. Well, we, we got a little lucky there, to be honest with you. Right. That should have been caught. <laughs> All right, Dodge now with third and 10. Trips right, I mean, twins right. Johnson looking to his right under big time pressure. Got a penalty, he gets it off. We got flags all over the place. Let's gotta check the call. Some holding. Yeah. You would think Dub it would be holding Dub on the Dublin offense. An all out blitz. They, they did yeah, Dublin brought the house there. right there and they got to Johnson. He did well to get that ball off. Just showed his athletic ability again yeah. there. Uh, should have been sacked. Yeah, absolutely. Let's check the call. Coach Holmes indicating he wants to take it. Back them up. So that, Nelson, that'll change it to third and probably about 20 or 25. Let's, let's check the mark off. Mm -hmm. Ball will be all the way back at the 25, and Nelson, they've got to get down to the Dublin, I mean, back to the 45. They've got to get to the 28, I think. Fourth and Brookville yeah, here. Yeah, third and about 17. Johnson with a man off to his left, under some pressure, throws it. Had a man running wide open, and the pressure affected him, I think, right there. He had a man right. running wide open That's right out in the middle of the real. field. Threw it over the wrong yeah. shoulder. Quan yeah. Waters racing down there to try to catch him. Yeah, but I think the pressure right up in Johnson's face affected that throw. So good job by the Dublin defense. Dodge will be in a punting situation. Their will be standing back near his own 40. Ashley will be standing back near the Dublin 15. No, that's JT Wright. Excuse me. Actually, right now, back to about the 10. 
Coach Barry Brown, I could hear him hollering down there for the punt block yeah. team to come on. Oh, bobble snap, they got blocked. It. Yep, blocked. Dublin will have great field position. Nice. He bobbled that snap and Dublin blocked it. Antonio Benjamin just yep. ate the kicker He alive. sure did. He sure did. Great job by Benjamin. So both teams have blocked the kick in the nice game. Number 30, Antonio Benjamin. Boy, he's fired up and he should be. That's a great play by that young man. Dublin will take over at Dodge's 46-yard line with a golden opportunity to put more points on the board. Hey, I'm Tom Dominey with Dublin with Nelson, and we're a full-service wholesaler specializing in plumbing, irrigation, and industrial products. We are committed to building long-term relationships with our customers by earning your business every day. With a staff that collectively offers more than 50 years of expertise, our team knows your industry and is able to answer your questions and is ready to help you get the parts and equipment you need. At Dublin with Nelson, our goal is the long-term success of your business. We achieve that goal with a simple commitment, doing things right, one customer at a time. So come by and see us at Dublin Wynn Nelson, 507 Airport Road, or give us a call at 478-272-3585, or stop by and see our website at DublinWynnNelson.com. Evans runs out to run the, the head up the Dublin offense. Dublin's second possession of the second half here with like 437 left. Dodge ran a lot of time oh, off the clock Now there. Dublin with a Personnel issue running a man on late. That's Damari Foster. Slot I think back. Our, our fullback was hurt. Yeah. Foster is the backup yeah. fullback. Okay. <laughs> Dublin with a golden opportunity to get more points on the board starting at Dodge's 46 yard line after the block kick. Evans under heavy pressure trying to throw, gets it off. I think he got his arm was going forward. He took a big <laughs> hit back yeah, around his 45. Javon Smith yeah. again for Dodge County made yeah. a good play. Smith has been all over the field and Evans is Evans slow is to get up. up. Play down for the hours. Yeah. Now teammates help him up. He's yeah. pretty wobbly though. If he did get hurt, I think Quay yeah. Ashley would come in and be our backup quarterback. Yeah, he's he's mighty shaky a, at the moment. That was a good rush. Yeah. Uh, for officials timeout for the injury. We'll keep it right here. Doubling again there, Crather. Uh, great field position yeah. off a block punt. It's a little momentum coming there. Yeah. And, and uh, Credit Dodge's defense. They were all over Evans right, on that play. A little play. unfortunate there. Yeah, and he's, he's yeah. mighty shaky. Seems to be favoring maybe his right side, his rib area yeah. maybe. Official timeout. Yeah, official timeout here. So we'll have a new quarterback for Dublin, it looks like, Nelson. Ashley, Quay Ashley, Ashley yeah, taking some snaps quickly. Ashley down taking snaps again from uh, Caleb Hall, big number 55, our center. And, uh, and then I guess Cameron Hampton will come in as his backup on, uh, in the backfield. And we remember Cam Hampton last year running. He, he did a lot of backup stuff last year and ran the ball really, really well in a lot of mop-up games. I mean, I was really impressed with Cam Hampton. He's got some speed. Mal got Malachi O'Neal Yeah, Malachi O'Neal's on, in, on, uh, in as well. Of course, JT Wright's out there. Demory Foster. Yeah. yeah, Foster directly behind Ashley. Inside handoff to Foster with running room down inside the 40. Nice run by Foster. Well blocked by the interior of the Dublin off, Dublin's offensive line. He really shot through. Yeah, he sure did. Quickly. He's got some tape hanging off his right hand. He needs to either wrap that up or pull it off one or the other. Now Evans back in after one play. So fortunately he was not injured to a significant degree. Set something, something uh, negotiable here, third and yeah. short. Yeah. That was a nice run by O'Neal. I'd expect Ashley here. Evans is going to keep it. Yeah, Evans keeps gets, it, gets a gets big hit. He, he, yeah, I don't think he gained a yard. I think he stopped. It's going to be fourth and about four. Yeah, I don't think, I think that went for no gain. 
So, ball will be placed at Dodge's 46, been, Dublin fourth and a, four. It's been a defensive struggle yeah. here, Crather. I don't think Dublin will go for it, and I don't think they yeah. should. Yeah, 325 to go in the third quarter. We'll take a break and have a word from our sponsor. <laughs> First Lawrence Bank invites you to experience banking at its best. Whether you have personal or business needs, we're a full service bank big enough to handle all of your banking needs and small enough to provide you with that personal touch you've grown to expect from a community bank like First Lawrence Bank. Looking forward to your future, that's First Lawrence Bank in Dublin and Dexter, member FDIC. Uh, now, I'm going to put your query, so Evans back here. Evans and, back to kick, quick punt. kick maybe, I guess. Dodge and punt safe here. He may take this thing yep. off and run it. Now he's going to kick it. Good really, kick. Really, really good kick. He's got a man down there coming. Unfortunately, was unable to get on it. I don't think he saw it. Yeah, maybe he didn't pick up the ball. Must have lost it in the lights. I believe that was. Uh, Dodge had nobody in return. Yeah, I believe it was it Cameron Back Hampton. There. Yeah, in position. Really nice. Punt. Yeah, that was a good design because he had Hampton running to down that ball inside the ten. Unfortunately, just. I don't know if he lost it in the lights or what. And if you can what? remember in the, in, 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 in the past, I like having uh, Evans the back there yep. doing that rugby punt because he can tuck it, run it. Remember, yep. he had a brother named Donut. Yeah, he that's right. He used to sit back there and do the same thing. Yep. Donuts at Western Kentucky. Now. Right, Jaquez Evans. Shout out to Jaquez tonight if he's watching. Yeah. Best wishes to him for a great season. Great young man. Johnson with twins right. Low snap again, handoff is running back slip, going in the hole and might have lost a yard. That was Demron Gordon again. Right, doing the stick. They moved the stick. Give him no gain, second and 10. Ball just at uh, across the 20 at the 21 with 235 now to go in the third quarter of a defensive struggle in a 7-6 ball game with the Irish on top. Johnson, twins right and left, hands got off a corner the jet sweep, there. got the corner. Number 10, wide receiver, and he'll be out to the 35 or so with a first down. We had a corner blitz yep. call then, and, and he went inside, he ran right and the running us. back came yep. outside of him. Nice play. Their wide receiver, that's James, favoring his left leg. He may have to come out. Darty coming up a little bit. Yeah, I think, yeah. He's, I think he's cramping. All right, Dodge will be first and 10 at their 35. Dodge using an enormous amount of time in this ball game. Yeah, Johnson looking to pass. Has a man complete over the middle, breaks the tackle, running up the field, breaks another tackle. Dublin trying to catch him. Great job by Ashley, I believe it was. Boy, Ashley. No, uh, that's uh, Benjamin. Benjamin. Saved a touchdown inside the 10. We should have had him back yeah, there. Yeah, we had the two 30. shots at him. He ran through two tackle attempts. Ball will be placed right at the 10. So first and goal, I guess, from there, Nelson. Well, a tremendous really play. Good job yep. standing up in the pocket, throwing that yep. ball then to a pretty wide open receiver down there. Yeah. Devlin and and we just couldn't get the guy on the ground. Him. Yeah. Had a couple of shots at him. A dodge in prime position, take the lead. Reserve quarterback in there, number two. With blocking, he'll go in. No, he he's only slipped. Short. He tried to cut to go into the end zone and slipped at about the one. Lamar and Mitchell are running back in there yeah. taking a direct Yeah, they just ran a, ran a wild dog kind of look. Dublin had a man slip down. That may be Quay Ashley like over Ashley. there. Yeah. So we'll have a timeout. We'll take a break with 108 to go in the third quarter. Dublin seven, Dodge County six. Maybe he landed here totally by coincidence. But if by chance, 
He's admiring your fresh coat of Benjamin Moore soft sky blue. Well, that's a pretty high compliment. Coming from an expert. Quality products and installation since 1985. That's Four Seasons. Yeah, Trey Ball would have probably been. All right, we're back. Dodge second and goal from the Dublin two-yard line. Trying to take the lead. Quay Ashley had cramps, came off running splay-legged, but under his own power. Got the quarterback Johnson, back in. yeah, inside handoff. They Good play back. to keep him out of the end zone. That was, that was number 56, Nazir Johnson with a nice play in the middle of the Dublin defense to prevent the running back for Dodge from scoring. Like he moved it down to about the one. Yeah, yeah. the third and goal from, from the one for Dodge. Johnson with one man directly behind him. Now he's off to his left. Power formation to the left. Johnson will run it off to the left and he'll go in for a touchdown. We'll see if Dodge tries to go for two here. Yeah. I wonder, uh, could be well, the quarterback the came running off, so they may not, but let's check it. They haven't done very well in their kicking game tonight. Yeah. But they're setting up. Yeah, Johnson's back in, so apparently they will go for two. We got, we got trips left with one man in the slot, one man to the right. Johnson. Stands back, has a man open, and it's in caught. For a, for a it's come falling down on the ground, yeah, number two. Down. So your Lamar new score with 26.2 seconds to go in the third quarter. Dodge County 14, Dublin 7. And, and we got another man down tired. cramping. Yeah. I believe that's Baldwin. We'll take a break and have a word from our sponsor. <laughs> The kind of hot topics are things called patient-specific implants and instruments, which is where we use imaging like CT scans and MRIs to measure people's bone and look at the shapes of their bones and then make implants and devices we use to implant the, the knee or hip replacement based on that particular person. And just about every company has that available and, and people use it to varying degrees just based on, again, the patient's anatomy and whether there's some reason that you really need that extra assistance. There's also robotics that is starting to come out into the orthopedic world that's been in the general surgery world for a while now. We're starting to use robotic arms to do things like to help us make the cuts and shape the bone so the implants fit well. All right, we're back. Trey Baldwin was the injured player for Dublin coming off under his own power after cramping up. Dodge has scored a touchdown and made a successful two-point conversion to take a 14-7 lead. With 26.2 seconds to go in the third quarter. Squib kick be falling on, I believe that's Darty, just across the 30. Good field position though for Dublin. Right. The Irish trail by a touchdown. What's well, been a really good football game, Nelson? It's been a defensive football game. I, yep. I kind of thought that it might be. Uh, Dublin always plays good defensively. Uh, I was hoping we'd show a little more of that offensive power, but penalties have put Dublin Penalties in, have in hurt Dublin of, offense all night. All night. Had, a, had a long touchdown by JT Wright call back, remember? Yeah. Or we'd be ahead That's of this right. game. Or tied. <laughs> but, yeah. And off to right, coming off to his left, good cut you know, up near the 40. No, that was, uh, excuse me, that was Malachi O'Neill. Malachi O'Neill and 14 out there. Nice run by O'Neill. Good yards. up about on the tackle. six yards, call it second along four from the 39. He should have some fresh legs. Yeah, 
and we may be putting some guys in for that. You've seen an awful lot of cramping. That'll be the end of the third quarter from the Shamrock Bowl with your score. Dodge County 14, Dublin 7. Maybe he landed here totally by coincidence. But if by chance he's admiring your fresh coat of Benjamin Moore soft sky blue, well, that's a pretty high compliment. Coming from an expert. Quality products and installation since 1985. That's Four Seasons. All right, we're back on a hot and sticky night from the Shamrock Bowl starting the fourth quarter. Dodge County leads Dublin 14-7, Dublin second and four at their own 39. Inside handoff to JT Wright who has popped behind the line. That is Javon Smith again who's had a tremendous game for Do the Dodge defense. Now, Call his name too many times yeah, tonight. He was right all over middle. JT Wright about five yards behind the line. That'll take it all the way back to the 32. Dublin will be third and about, I'm sorry, the 35. Third us, and seven, let's call it. Putting us in another passing situation yeah. here. 11.23 to go in the ball game with the Irish now trailing 14-7. Dublin will like to throw a little, they like to throw that little screen out to the halfback on this. Got a, we're calling a timeout. Timeout. They didn't, they didn't, didn't like the play call or personnel package, so we'll take it with, the, with them. With 11-12 to go in the game. We'll take a break and have a word from our sponsor. <laughs> Drop by today and see the winning team at Lakes Alignment and Truck Service in East Dublin. We're now offering tires and service for all your agricultural and farm equipment. At Lakes, we've got you covered on the road or in the field. Big truck alignment, industrial tire pressing, and commercial truck service. So join the winning team at Lakes Alignment and Truck Service and now offering agricultural tire service. No matter where you are, call 272-4230 and our service trucks are rolling to you. Lakes Alignment and Truck Service, serving you at the same location right behind Thomas Auto Supply since 1954. So grab the family and head on out to the field. This football season, you're sure to be on a winning team when you join the team at Lakes Alignment and Truck Service and now Agricultural Tires and Service, Lakes Alignment, East Dublin. All right, we're back on a hot and sticky night from the Shamrock Bowl starting the fourth quarter. Dodge County leads Dublin 14-7, Dublin second and four at their own 39. Inside handoff to JT Wright who has popped behind the line. That is Javon Smith again who's had a tremendous game for Do the Dodge defense. Now, Call his name too many times yeah, tonight. He, he was right all the over JT Untouched. Wright about five yards behind the line. That'll take it all the way back to the 32. Dublin will be third and about, I'm sorry, the 35. Third us, and seven, let's call it. Putting us in another passing situation yeah. here. 11.23 to go in the ball game with the Irish now trailing 14-7. Dublin will like to throw a little, they like to throw that little screen out to the halfback on this. Got a, we're calling a timeout. timeout. They didn't, they didn't, didn't like the play call or personnel package, so we'll take it with, the, with them. With 11-12 to go in the game. We'll take a break and have a word from our sponsor. <laughs> It's nothing personal, it's just business. Hello? That's how some people do things. Right away. To us, everything we do is personal. Because anyone can answer the call. It's who shows up 
that matters most. That's the quality of your independent agent and the company that stands behind them. Ask Curry Maffet Insurance in Dublin if auto owners make sense for you. All right, we're back with a Dublin with a key third and eight, trailing by a touchdown with 11 minutes, 12 seconds to go in the ball game. Big play by Dodge County there. Evans back to pass, under pressure, There's throws our the back, over there that screen, right. throwback screen. JT no, Wright into no, the clear, no. down the sideline. He'll be taken down inside, down around the 35 of Dodge Little County. Ball. Great play call, Nelson. You Get called it, you talked about that screen Little pass. Ball. It was perfectly yes, yes. designed right there. Drew the defense to Push Evans. He dumps it off to Wright with blocking and a tremendous play by JT Wright. All the one way those, down to Dodge's 35. One of those things where Coach Holmes yeah. kind of goes back in his way deep back in his playbook and yep. see him over here talking to his coaches. About, about a 30-yard play right there. Dublin loves that play. Well executed by Evans and Wright. Inside handoff to, is that Moore, I believe? No, um, Damari Foster, I believe. Got a couple yards. Took a big shot. Foster again, and he's slow to get up. Yeah. Holding his leg, probably. Yeah, it might cramp be cramping. Again. Yeah. Official timeout. Official timeout for the end of the player. We'll take it with him. We'll be right back. Conservative treatment options are typically where we start with both knee and hip arthritis. So if you come in to see us and your hip is beginning to be arthritic or your knees beginning to be arthritic, there's sort of a stepwise approach that we take. Anti-inflammatories, which are medicines like Motrin, Advil, Aleve are usually sort of first line. We have prescription forms of those medications that we can use. In our elderly population, that becomes a little more difficult because they have comorbidities, things like diabetes or stomach ulcers or disease that they can't take those medications even hypertension so we'll try to treat them with medications if it's appropriate when it's not then we go on to things like injections so cortisone injections or there's these things called visco injections or visco supplements which are lubricating type injections that we can use to treat knee arthritis as well as hip arthritis to try to control people's pain and a lot of times we do that for years for people before they get to the point where those are no longer working and we're ready to talk about knee or hip replacement Back, Dublin second and seven from Dodge County 32. And off to Ashley. There's, there's the hole. Good Way cut. Ashley. Yep, he down stumbled. near the 20. He stumbled, the making a cut to his Post left. Good like blocking by the right side of Dublin's offensive line on that play. It looked like he was going to cut yeah, and, and cut break and that go. thing off yeah. back toward course, the corner. Several guys have lost their footing tonight trying he's to cut again. on this turf. Yeah, he's down maybe with more cramps. Officials timeout for the got us injury. The first down though, which was important. Yeah, yeah, he got right down to the 20, and I believe they have a first down. He's laying out there face down. I don't know if it's a cramp. Maybe he fell on the ball. I don't know. He's not moving too much. Right, we're gonna now stay right down. here, Nelson. And hopefully, yeah. Ashley will be okay. I wonder if he might have fallen the on the bridge. ball the way he's laying. Stomach down. Not the breath yeah. He got down, I believe, to the 21, which will be a first down, maybe the 22. Trainer's working on his leg over there again. At his leg again. Left foot looks like over there. Dublin really, really early in the fourth quarter. Really struggling with cramping and guys having to run out, run off the field. We've been tired, I think, right there since the second quarter. Yeah. And I knew that was uh, going to be a concern of ours. Yeah, and Dodge the coaches tonight bigger, too. You know, they lean their offensive line leaning on us. They probably got a little more depth than we do. First game of the year. The yeah, coaches first game. Generally that first that, that and this week. This is the first time we've ever played on this turf. Also, right. remember that first, that, how that hot it can week get. Week prior to the first game, the coaches yeah. do not run the players at all. They want them to have their legs up under them as much as they can. And Quay Ashley was ready. able to come off under his own power again, running as I call it, splay-legged, but 
Got a big first down for us at the 22. Irish look to tie this ball game. Plenty of time left in the ball yeah. game. With 10, Evans with an 26. empty backfield. Now Wright comes across, bobbled a pitch, not much blocking. He might have lost a yard. Did a good job to hold on to the yeah, ball Yeah, he did there. a good job, as really you say, just to keep play. the ball. No blocking on that play. Dodge, Dodge defense strung it out nicely. Ball will be placed at the 23. Yeah, lost it. Let's call it loss of a yard and second and a short 11 for Dublin with 9.58 to go in the ball game. Be a good time. Dodge is probably tired too. Maybe a good time to try that double inside handoff trap. Yeah. I don't know if we've got Green, I believe, in back in the game directly behind Evans. Inside handoff to right, right no he block, and he's eating up behind the line again. He'll probably lose at least one yard. The interior of the Dodge defense really had that play diagnosed. Dodge with a seven point lead here. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if we'd reach for a field goal from here. We're probably in four down territory, right, I'd, honestly. I'd say we're in four down territory yeah. here. Right, a little slow back there after the big hit he took. A little slow to get back in the huddle. Uh, hopefully, we, yeah, we got the play clock running down. Dublin had to run, get up and run their play in a hurry. Third and call it a let 12. Evans rolling to his left. There he is. Out Wide there. open. Oh, poor throw. Yeah, wasn't able to get anything on the Threw throw. Up under him. Yeah, he had uh, play play Malachi O'Neill running. running down Dodge, the goal had some, line. Dodge had some pressure on us off that Yeah, there was some, there too. was some heat back there. Just wasn't able to get anything Call on that for a field pass goal. attempt. Potter's going to reach for a long one. Ball's at the 24-yard line of Dodge County. It's going to be a 41-yard 41 41 kick. Yard. Now, my, my spotter, Nelson Carr, is telling me that, that he's, he's good from this range. 41 yard attempt by Potter to bring Dublin closer. High snap, yeah, ball's deflected. Comes down to a Dodge oh. County man, he's got blocking. Yeah, got a flag, I think. Uh, yeah. He'll be down near the, in, down to about the 30 of Dublin. However, let's check, there is laundry on the field. Might have an illegal block behind the play. Let's check this call. Like Darty got here pretty, pretty yeah. sideways back there. Yeah, might have, might have a clip. It was a high snap. Yeah. Never got down real well. A high snap. You know Potter's trying to drive that ball from that length, so might have kicked it a little low, but yeah, the high snap certainly didn't help. Will be a penalty on Dodge County, take them way back near their own goal line. So Dublin's defense, at least, Nelson, I have a chance to, if they can get them three and out, right. gain some field position. Going to put Dodge in business first and 10 down around the Yeah, they would have been down inside our 30. Maybe. I believe they have been down around our 30. Yep, call against Dodge County, so that'll wipe out a huge play on the block kick, and that's the third block kick tonight, Nelson. Right. Two block punts and a block field goal attempt. We talked about the kicking game early in the game, and it's played a role tonight. It's vital. Yeah. Let's see where they haven't yet placed the ball. In the Indians, first and 10. Looks like they're going to place it somewhere around the 15, inside maybe, the 10. I I'm not sure. We've well, got an official standing at about the eight yard line. Coaches over there, Dodge coaches screaming yeah, Dodge, out on the other Dodge's side. Dodge's coaches arguing about the call, either the call or the Spotting in the ball. They're going to back it up. Yeah, they're, they're going to take it all the way back to their own five yard line. So, Nelson Dublin defense with a chance if they can get them three and out to get field, great field position or for the offense. Or sniff out a little fumble here or something. Yeah, fumble would be great. Something. Both teams tired. Yep. Dodge Dublin had, down to one timeout, by the way. Dodge hadn't made a Dodge lot of mistakes tonight. No, they, have, they played a cleaner game than Dublin, you'd have to say. Johnson in the shotgun, one man behind him, inside handoff. Good big hole. He might go. He might go. 
I don't think we can I don't catch him. Nobody can yeah. catch him. Number one. That's going to be a 95 yard 95 run for a touchdown. Demron Gordon. Demron Gordon. Right up the gut. I don't think anybody in the house expected that from nope. 95. 95 yards. The trap right up the middle. Yeah, broke wide open. Dodge up 20 to seven with eight and a half minutes to go in the ball game. But Nelson, the Dublin offense is really gonna have to put it in high gear. We need to see if we can get the passing attack working. 8.31 left in the ball game. We're gonna need two scores and two possessions. Beautiful run right down the middle of the yeah, field. Yeah, it was. If you, Kid showed his speed. Yeah, if you didn't have an interest Dublin. in the game, that was a gorgeous run. Mm -hmm. And got motion or what? Officials blow the play I dead before the, the kick, kick was, was attempted. I couldn't tell if it was going to be good or not. may have been not. illegal motion on Dodge. No, I think it's illegal shift or something. Uh, Air evac going up yeah. over top of us over here to Fairview. Yeah, hate to see that. Will Dodge could afford to take a timeout. All right, we're going to stay right here, even though we got an official's timeout. Yeah, Dodge, Dodge could have, they could afford to take a timeout yeah, there. That's and, true. And decide, decide I guess they, they blew it do. dead because the ball's still at the three, so they didn't penalize them. They called a timeout. Regroup. Which I don't mind it for Dublin really either is giving us a, giving us a rest yeah, break. Yeah, after that long, we had guys trying to hawk him down, so running hard all the way down the field. So sure several of them are winded right now. They're still gonna kick it. Yeah, they're gonna try to make it 21 to seven. Jorge Jackson in for the extra point. We got a man running off late. Big rush, but he gets it up. I believe it's good. Good, it's barely yeah, got We had a lot of heat touch. on him. Kick is up and good. And your new score, Shamrock Bowl, Dodge County 21, Dublin 7. I'm Brad Grimes, and we invite you to join the winning team at the City of Dublin Natural Gas. And we'll give you a free 40 gallon hot water heater. Or a $400 rebate on a tankless hot water heater. Get a $200 rebate on a natural gas furnace. How about 0% financing for 60 months? Plus, we'll make it easier and add it to your bill. Take advantage of this incredible offer today. With natural gas, you'll never run out of gas again. Natural gas is dependable. Natural gas is half the price of electricity. And half of the price of propane. So stop wasting money today. And call the fit up Dublin Natural Gas today. At 277-5048, that's 277-5048. Join the winning team. Seated dub and natural gas. All right, we're back for Dodge County's kickoff. Low line low, drive. Low line drive and picked up by, um, oh, big hit at, out short of the 20. Cameron Hampton. Cameron back Hampton there. picked it up. But he had to chase the ball down to yeah, pick it up. Yeah, it was a great kick. Really put us on our heels. Well placed and yeah, uh, we didn't have we yeah, didn't have kick down coverage about team. the 15. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't have, have our kick blocking. coverage team in the right place. Yeah. Kicking games played a role on both sides tonight. Irish in a deep hole right now down two touchdowns with only just under eight and a half minutes to play in the ball game. Well we'll see what this young team's made of right yeah, here. Yeah and we'll see I'd imagine Evans will be throwing the ball some, too. 
inside handoff, very little block in there. Yeah, that was uh, that was green on the run. He gets maybe two yards on the inside handoff. Evans over getting a play call. We got Monte Darty running off. Looks like with an equipment issue. Dominic Darty running on in his place. Huh? Irish battling the clock as well as school board right now. Evans rolls to his left. Keeper, again, not much blocking. Probably should have pitched that yeah. ball to right. Yeah, man. it looked like he wanted to pitch it. Don't know if he had enough yeah, time, but he probably. Third and about nine for Dublin. Should have. Yeah, that play was slow to develop there. Yeah, it really was. I think Dublin's fatigue, I think, set in right. a little bit here. I know we've had battle of cramping in the second half, but I think this team is very tired right now. They, you can see they're, they're kind of struggling to get up. Running folks on and off the field there. Place. Benjamin in for right. On and off. Down to seven minutes to go. Dublin with a huge third and nine deep in their own end. Double handoff. Oh, and didn't work at all. Yeah. Malachi O'Neill took the double handoff and Dodge had it sniffed out. Dylan Worthen, one of their defensive linemen, was right there. He probably lose three yard, a couple of yards. And Dublin right. have to punt with six and a half minutes to go. Thank you. Dublin, at this point in the season, Crather, we just don't have any depth. Yeah, we're struggling and, a little bit tonight and, physically, and, I think. But, you know, again, this is a game you want to line it up, play it, and see where you are at the end of the game. This has been a very good defensive struggle until that long run. It was 7-6 to six for a long yeah. time. Yeah, it was. And this is a good Dodge County team, no question. Potter, with that rugby kick, he's going to get a big roll. Kicks picked it up. up by the receiver. Uh, by makes it. a good cut, runs through a couple of tackles. Down the sideline, gets blocking down in, inside the 20. Dublin's Double got two got players two, couple collide. of guys down. Yeah, they might have collided. They're both down. Now, is that a – no, I don't get that. This is a flag, a flag on the field. We got two guys down for Dublin back near the Dublin 40-yard lines. Injury timeout really? also. Vicious collision. Yeah, down James, here. who ran the punt back, is also cramping. So we'll take a quick break. Be right back. Imagine a life changing injury. Imagine the fear and unknown. The Houston Clinic Sports Medicine Team, the only physicians in the area with advanced certification in orthopedic sports medicine, treat sports injuries with innovative techniques. The Houston Clinic has helped nearly a million athletes live without pain. Imagine getting back in the game. Imagine the best game of your life. The Houston Clinic Sports Medicine Team. All right, we're back. Dublin's injured guys were able to get off on their own power dodge. The uh, kick returner, Jalon Hank James, was also down with cramps. Like dodge you. with the ball at Dublin's 21 with under six minutes now to play, so Dublin in a Big time. They're like a mass unit out yeah, there, like you said. Yeah, mass unit, a little bit of a low snap, handoff off to his right with running room. Oh, good play by Trey Baldwin out Trey there. Trey Baldwin, that's a nice play. Number 24 for Dodge. Cortez Baker was running free down the right Second side. Second time I've watched Baldwin do that tonight. Yeah. He's tackling up around the helmet. He's going to have yeah. to be very careful with that. Yeah. Extremely good athlete, though. He got to him quick. Yeah. Give them a gain of about seven, call it second and three at the Dublin 13 yard line with 5.49 to go in the ball game. Dodge with twins right and left. That bring a man in motion, hands it to him with blocking. Good blocking on yeah, the Yeah, he's gonna try to go in the corner in. and he'll score. Touchdown, Touchdown Indy, touchdown Indy. That was well blocked by well Dodge. Blocked. They brought the man in motion right in front of the quarterback, gave it to him on the jet sweep. From up top up here on yeah. top of the press box, you can see it. 
Jabari Graham. Yeah. You can see the you can see the blocking and the flow of the, the run just open things up down here in this so corner down here. Dodge County's really opened it up now. It's 27-7. Well they did this to Toons last week. No surprise. Yeah, this, to, uh, now this score, Dodge will, County fans, yeah, I'm this sure. final score will not be indicative of how competitive this game was uh, for three quarters. It was or, seven to six, yeah. and then it's fourteen to six yeah. forever. Low snap, uh, low kick, no good. So no good. stay twenty-seven to seven with five forty-two to go in the ball game. Tired Dublin Irish team comes to the sideline. They work all week for Friday night. Go Dublin! Are you ready? And hey! Go. And when you call, click, or visit Dublin Chevy Nissan, you'll see our teamwork in action. Let me put your dream in your driveway. Let's take a test drive. The right vehicle, the right experience, the right dealer. Good job! Here we and go! And remember, Don sells cars well only at Dublin Chevy Nissan. You'll score a winning deal every time at Dublin Chevy Nissan. All right, we're back. Dublin about to receive the kickoff now down 27 to 7. That ball is snagged by one of the up men. He's coming across to his right, and he'll be knocked down. That was Desmond Gilbert. Des Gilbert there. Nice job to snag that ball and get upfield. Right, showed some of his athletic ability yeah. there. I, I really like Des. He's a yeah. very athletic young man. Now Dublin probably nice has some reserves man. in right now. Good effort there. He put trying to bring that thing wide. He did get it out to the 33. Let's see if the Irish can maybe mount a little drive here. And, yeah, and, uh, because set, it, Bruce just it. kind of falling in on this fourth quarter. It'd be nice to finish end the game, game at least end positive. the game on a positive note. Yeah. And off to uh, O'Neill. O'Neill. Yeah. Short gain. We've had a lot of trouble blocking their defensive front tonight. All right, those guys are. Yeah. Especially Baldwin, I believe it is, number 16, or Smith, I'm sorry. Smith, for them. Yeah, we've been outmanned on, out on the front. Yeah, a couple of their other guys, several of their defensive linemen have made big plays in our backfield. They've got some guys, 220, 270, and 250. Yeah, they've got some there. size. That's a good looking football team. And off to that Ashley, nice cut. Cameron oh, Hampton. Nice, Hampton, nice run inside oh, yeah. Dodge territory. Nice run by Cam Hampton. Yeah, I saw Cam Hampton do some of that last year. He's uh, yeah. He can be explosive. Yeah, down to Dodge 47, I believe it'll be first 10. First and 10, I should say, from there. Down at 46, actually. That was a nice gain right Give there. Give the kids some heart. 51 and Monte yeah. Daugherty's back out there playing at left yeah. guard. Yep. Quay Ashley in at quarterback, I believe. Yep. And off that Hampton again. Maybe short gainer. Hampton again, yeah. right. He got a, not much, a couple of yards around the right side. Chance to work with some second team guys, let them get some experience. It wouldn't be experience. surprised in the future if Trey Baldwin learns of plays if they don't maybe try to run Trey Baldwin at quarterback some. Really, really good athlete that we got on a hardship out of uh, Statesboro High School just this past Monday. Really good looking athlete. Foster behind Ashley with Really Carey. quick hitter yeah. up the middle there. Yeah, quick hitter down near the 40, short game. Can bring up third and about six or seven. Down, down to 333 to go in the ball game. Dodge leads it 27 to seven. Although Nelson, this final score will not be indicative of how competitive a game this was for three no. quarters. No, Dodge. Uh got some momentum and scored a couple of quick touchdowns on us. That 95 yeah. yarder broke the back. Yeah, did. There's Hampton, Hampton again. again, nice run. He close down. to the first down. Maybe. He got to get to the 41. He might be a yard short, but I would imagine we would go for this. No reason not to at this point. Dillon's not giving up. Uh, the young men are still trying to drive Guys the ball down Guys playing hard, yeah. 
And, and again, you don't like to be in this situation, but at least you can get some second team guys, some game experience, which is always valuable. But that's also showing some heart too. Yeah, yeah. Fourth and one. Inside hand off to Hampton. Good run, oh, ran through a tackle and got inside the 40 for the first down. Put his Big hand tough on running by Hampton. Put his yeah. hand on the ground and kept going. Now, that's going to be 24, wasn't it? Was that Damari Foster? That was Foster. I'm yeah, that was sorry. Damari Foster there. Yeah, nice Put his run. hand down on yeah. the ground. And, and Determined uh, run. He got it down to the 39, so he had to get the 41, so he got his first down with ease. Let's keep the drive alive. Yeah. Down to 218 to go. Ashley off to his right. 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 Oh, yeah, eating up behind the line. I think he was trying to roll out and throw that ball. And we were trying to break Tyler Wright down there on the yeah. post pattern. Yeah, flag pattern. yeah. 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 you yeah. see Tyler down there. But they were just too much pressure off the right side of Dodge's defensive front. Be taken, taken down back at the 42 yard line. So a loss of about three. Right at Antonio Benjamin back in there. Down to 140 to go in the game now. This will be a tired Dublin football team tonight. And I believe they got a week off, you said, Nelson. So right, they can use yeah, we got it right Labor now. Day. Yeah, heal up. And week off, and then we get go the legs to back. Then we go down to Montgomery County, I think. Inside handoff to Malachi O'Neill. Good tough running down inside the. No, Damari Foster there. 35 Foster again. Yeah, Damari Foster on that. Yeah, he's had two, two really nice runs in this, yeah. in this drive. You got to like what you see out of he and Hampton on this drive. I do. Of course, O'Neill's a sophomore. Foster's a sophomore. Hampton's a sophomore. Big hole around the right side, big stick on Hampton, but he gets down and just in, gets down to the 30. He took a big shot right he at the 30. He held on the ball, held yeah, on. And good job. Sherman Clay again out there. One of their running up. This is gonna be fourth down, is that right? Yeah, fourth and about, fourth and about six. They gotta get down to the 24. I don't know if we'll run another play. We're down under 25 Doesn't seconds. Look like, and Dodge yeah. County hadn't substituted much tonight. No, either. they haven't. All right, that'll be the final play of the ball game. Your final score in a much more competitive game than the final score will indicate. Congratulations, Dodge County. They win it 27 to seven.